Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do for you today a very quick, well I say quick, we'll see, what's in my bag of my Mulberry Bayes water. This is an, one of the original style Bayes waters which I bought a number of years ago and it's in the colour Petrol. Hopefully you can see. The light is abysmal because the weather is abysmal because it's England. I like a steak because I've been out in the rain but anyway. Hopefully you can see the colour. This is in lamb in the colour petrol with gold hardware. Um, so really nice bag. I've also got a Love Lolo bag liner in here which I've had recently and this is my first real time of using the bag. So there's all manner of, you can see there's a lot, cover me, there's a lot in here. Um, I've just used it to run some errands in my local town and I also used it for work yesterday and I popped out shopping very quickly after work so we'll see what's in there. It may be a surprise to me too. So let's get going. So the first thing we have, so that's what it, this is what it looks like. Just, yeah. First thing is uh, my glasses case with my glasses in which I hardly ever wear. I'm mildly short-sighted, so I know I tend to wear them for driving. So as I was popping the car out today, we have my Gucci glasses. Um, really nice and lightweight, and I actually really love, if you can see the color on them there. Sort of like a pinky purple tortoise shell effect. Anyway, I like them and they're not too big. Small head and don't like anything too big, so that's that. Then I have my Louis Vuitton Clement's wallet in the colour fuchsia, so you can see it's got the fuchsia tab there. As ever, a lovely zip because it's Louis Vuitton, and then inside, all manner of crap, and you can see the fuchsia colour there. I won't bother showing you what's in here. I know some people show you like everything, but there's a few vouchers, club card vouchers, there's a few credit cards and things, and some store cards. Nothing out of the ordinary, so that's that. I won't bore you with the details. Ah, one of the errands I ran this morning was to run to the post office. So I picked up a parcel. If I open, oops. If I open this, inside we have a Pandora bag. So this has come from Swag, um, receipt, and I'm not happy. I ordered this on the 27th of December, and it is now the 20th of January. Apparently because of Christmas. I'm like, there was one bank holiday from the time I ordered it till now. I've made a piece of calls, anyway. So I got myself a few bits in the sale. Um, I think I said previously that if you don't get stuff in the sale, and then you know it's going. So we have one, two, three little Pandora pouches and within each of those we have a charm, hopefully. Or else Swagger are really going to hear about it. Um, I don't think I'll ever buy from them again. I'm sorry but that's a ridiculous amount of time to buy something which is apparently, according to your website, in stock. Didn't even get a confirmation email, it's just been horrific. People said they'd call me back and they didn't, but anyway. I got the Cosmic Stars, if you can see it, I'm going to drop it on the floor, I? got the Cosmic Stars in um, like green and teal, I'm trying to show you, that's what I'm showing you, um, yeah, there, so that's one, then in the next pouch, these are, all, these are actually all for my turquoise bracelet. In the next pouch we have, I can feel something in here. Um, it's one of these pouches, you can't see where the charm is. We have a droplets charm. I think this is an icy green colour. Anyway, it's pretty. And then... It's not Pandora video, this is a what's in my bag video, but I'm genuinely showing you what's in my bag as I've just walked in through the door. And then we have this one. I can't remember what this is called, 
Right, it's got a little fishy and some sparkles on the side as well. So again, all for the turquoise charm. So that's that. So it's looking a little bit emptier now. I tend to organise my stuff, but I think when you're walking and it's pouring with rain, you just chuck stuff in. There's a Pandora bag. <laughs> now this is because I bought a charm from Pandora a couple of weeks ago, and I just, I wasn't happy with it. It had like some minor scratches. So I got a spacer charm. God, I can never get these things out. A spacer charm. There, in purple. This is a shimmery, I think it's sh shining elegance, I think it is. That rings a bell. And basically just on the two silver sides, on that side and that side, it just was sort of like looked a bit scuffed and scratched and I was like, hmm. Apparently, they, of this style, they all turn up like that because that's how they're packaged up. So, not great, but I just changed it for the same charm and it looks slightly better. So that was that. I don't normally have that much Pandora in my bag. Right, so then we have, just reaching in. Trusty Volley, which you would have seen from what's in my bag on my mini car. Um, I put this in really badly because I would have been rushing. So that's that. Can you tell this is like an English video, can't you? Gloves. Um, so these are my Ted Baker gloves. I got these for Christmas for my mum and dad. Not last Christmas, Christmas before. Supposedly touch screen usable, but a bit hit and miss if I'm honest. But anyway, they go quite nicely with other stuff that I wear. So we're down to this now, and you can see how useful the little pockets are in the Love Lilo. So in the liner there, we have a iPhone 6S, which is my work phone. We then have my iPhone X in my lovely new Louis Vuitton folio case with the in F11. You can see the, the Louis Vuitton initials. So yeah, really nice colour. And then that's the inside of the Louis Vuitton business card there. And um, so yeah, that's that. Back at tissues. Headphones. Oh, uh, a bit of paper with Tony and Guy prices on because I need new hairdressers and I thought I'd ask. A fudge wrapper. <laughs> I popped to a Chanel yesterday and they had fudges on the till and I had fudge. And I'm like, what do I do with the wrapper? So I just stuck it in my bag. I'll bin that now. So you see, we're looking quite good. Next we have, should I pull this out? This is a By Terry palette. So this is a number of bronzers. Um, so this is the Sun Designer palette in Savannah Love, which was number four. So this was brought out last summer. Oh, summer, I remember summer. Um, I won't blind you with a mirror. There's all the colors. My battery is about to die. Then we have Chanel Receipt. I just bought some earrings, I'll do an unboxing in a sec. Chanel Receipt, lovely. Louis Vuitton key clay in the monogram and with my keys in it. I know loads of people have these and they don't use it for keys. I love it because it means that my keys aren't going to scratch my bag. So that's that. We then have my travel card holder, which I got initial. So this is from Aspinall. And as you can see on the back there, it says Aspinall of London. Um, so it's got my photo card and then my smart card for my season ticket to get to work and back. Um, I did a whole unboxing of this and then deleted the footage, so you're not gonna see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not that much to it really. Um, really like this so it's really handy and using the um, like on the train using like the yellow contact points it goes through the leather as well so that's nice and easy and I have 
in here. I have a pass for, yeah, just a pass to get in and out of the building at one. Right, so I've given the battery a quick reboost. We'll carry on with the what's in my bag. So it's feeling a bit lighter now. Um, and I'll show you inside. So with one thing with this base water being, you know, one of the older ones are being lamb, it's quite squishy and nice. So yeah, you can see there, that's what we're left with. So, really quickly, trusty tangle teaser. And then we're pretty much, oh, Mont Blanc pen. So again, I've done a video on this. This is my gorgeous Moon Garden pen. There we go. So yep, yeah, so that's in a nice little pocket to keep it nice so it doesn't get lost. This is one of the good thing with these liners, is I don't know if you can see they've got all these pockets. I'll show you once the bag's completely empty. But it is quite nice because a lot of Mulberry bags don't come with that many pockets, particularly the older styles. I think the newer ones they've done a bit more structure. So it, and with the liner I can still, as you can see, I can still get to the zip part of it. And in there I've got my work locker keys and the key for the Kensington lock for the laptop which I've kind of broken so I'm just going to stick it in my locker anyway but never mind and then I also carry this a lot of places with me little tiny microfiber cloth but that's really nice just for cleaning my phone with just give it a quick bath and it comes up really nice so that's good can't remember where I got it from but I've had it a while. Right, so the only thing we've left is this. So I'll show you what's in here and then I'll show you the liner a bit more so you can see it empty. So this is the Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch in, I'm going to say GM. It was a larger one because I looked at the smaller ones and they might have done but I wasn't sure. And also I thought by getting the larger ones dual purpose so I do a fair bit of like certainly with my old job as well, a certain bit of travelling um, where I do carry on only, so I'd have all my liquids and it's quite nice having a nice within your case, so I would use this in my case for everything that was non-liquid um, so it was just quite nice having something that was nice rather than something crappy to travel with so again, gorgeous zip um, I have to say as well, given that this has been in various you know, bathrooms that get steamy the, um, the Cheshire's the vaquetta's looking alright, um, yeah, anyway. So that whole amount of crap in here, I'll show you quickly. Hairband, little bobble thing. Normally I put like a little compact in that slip, but I don't. My trusty by Terry Baum de Rose in the colour Bloomberry, which is really nice and really nourishing on my lips. A Charlotte Tilbury makeup brush which I've been using as I've been rushing on the train with my By Terry palette, so that's quite nice. I do love still my artist brushes, but I, if I'm just grabbing something quick, I might just grab that. Um, my By Terry Compact Expert Dual Powder, and this is in the colour number 4 Beige Nude. That's that really nice colour that one as well and sometimes I just get the little shimmery bit and I'll just put a tiny bit just for a little shimmer on the cheekbone so that's quite nice. Then we also have in here the By Terry Kabuki brush to go with it so just push that down so really nice I'll show you a really nice thick brush and also if I want to be a bit more precise with the two colours in the Jewel Expert what I might do, because this to put it away, this slides up, and sometimes I'll just slide it up a little bit to get the brush a bit more compact. So that's that, so you can just slide it up, put that on, and there it is. I have a Dior lip scrub, so this is the Sweet Exfoliating Balm. And that kind of is quite sheer when it goes on but that's quite nice because it's got like a it's exfoliating because it's got like a for the sugar scrub in it it's quite nice if my lips are a bit dry I'll put it on it's kind of moisturising and then I'll um, massage it in and that, that's quite nice it gets rid of any little dry bits. 
trusty Leet and Denny nail file that goes everywhere with me because you never know, I hate having a snag in my nails. Some L'Occitane hand cream, which I picked up in Nice Airport actually. And we also have a um, L'Occitane hand gel. On. Oops, just in case you never know. A white hairband, another bobbly hairband which has got creased. Yet yeah, another one. I will seem to have a bit of a clear out of this. Far too many hairbands. A oh, this is good. Uh, this is a Chanel mascara. I forget which one now. Oh, yeah, it's in the bottom. So this is in black, and it won't be waterproof because I hate waterproof mascaras. And this is a Le Volume, um, just in plain black. Really, really good mascara. I recommend that. Another hair bubble. This is why I couldn't find any in the drawer the other day. This is where they're all hiding. Um, and then, oh, two little tablets which is just echinacea so if I'm feeling a bit run down I might take those and then I have a Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat lip pencil and this is in the colour pillow talk the classic one so I just want to show you the colour this is a real popular colour and then the other one I have in here is another Charlotte Tilbury Lip cheat, and this is in pink Venus. So, yeah, I'll try and show you. It's a slightly different colour, but yeah, both sort of pinky nudes, but really nice as a base. And what I might do sometimes is just use one of those and um, actually fill in the lip as well, and then just go over it with this, which you've seen before, which is my Chanel lip gloss in the colour 148. And then the final thing in here is my Travelo perfume. And this has actually got my um, Hermes perfume in there, and this is why you put it in the orange one, orange for Hermes. So that's that. Excuse that crash, that'd be a little man coming to the cat flap. So yeah, so that's that open. Um, love this, really hard wearing. I use this all the time and it looks practically new. And it also holds a lot. I probably could have got the Vitae palette in here as well, but I think I was just sort of busy rushing. Knew that wouldn't get lost in the bag, so just slipped it in. So that's that. So back to the molded bag. That's it empty now. You can see, completely empty except for the Love Lolo liner, which sits in, like I say, it sits in there nicely. It does give it more structure. There's a hell of a lot of hell of a lot of stuff that I took out of this bag. Yet the the I don't know if you know, the bottom still wasn't too saggy. Putting all that back in without the liner, it certainly would have sagged a bit more. And I'll just pull the liner out and show you. Um, so yeah, so there it is. And since I bought this, I do believe there's other ones available as well. Um, slightly, I think they're slightly thinner. So yeah, different thickness, different quality felt liners. But this one's really nice. I'm fairly happy with my blue choice. I knew I wouldn't get anything to match exactly. And I nearly got just like a bright pink, but I'm happy with this. Like I say, it's got the four pockets there. So that's really useful. And so within a mulberry bag itself, you can see that it means that the bottom's all nice and clean. It's only got the two slip pockets there and then the zip bit there. So with the amount of stuff I was carrying, it's quite nice, particularly when you've got two mobile phones, a travel card, keys, you know, certain things that you want to be able to get to really quickly. It's quite nice having those little pockets to just slip stuff in. Now you can just grab it quick, but at the same time it's protected because um, I'm really careful with my stuff. So yeah, that's it. We now have a empty, Marble Bay's water, which is really, really light. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Bye.